right, okay, all right, okay, all right, okay. What's up, buddies? Welcome back to another episode of the 6 p.m. content. <clears throat> well, aka the first owner RTG, aka a million and one other things. But the difference today is we've got a lot of 78 plus packs to get through and try and enjoy. I'm hoping 6 p.m. content improves. I was saying this in the edited episode today that you guys will see at 8 a.m. UK coming up. By the way, pack luck is insane again. I don't understand. These 78 plus packs are so nuts. They're so insane. So we already have packed an insane player. Again, I asked YouTube in the edited epi, and, and you guys can answer me here if you want as well in the 6 p.m. content epi so I can get a good idea within the comments section. Like the video if you want. Don't if you don't. I, I, whatever. I don't care. But answer me this. Because the last four or five videos, I've packed like half a million coin value player, uh, one player, a 200k player, big players, but I'm not putting them in the titles because I want to keep you guys surprised and excited to click into the 6pm videos, excited to click into the edited videos and stuff like that. But then I start getting hit up on Twitter like, dude, when did you pack this guy? When did you pack? Oh my God, I can't believe you packed an informed Foden. Oh my God, I can't believe When did you pack a Mendy? When did you pack a Demboos? When did you pack this? When did you pack that? So and of course because i don't put the titles of these big play the, the the names of these big players in the videos the videos don't do as well as the one time i put a player in the title which was that inform jesus and on a low quality video it still did incredibly well so just let me know do you want me to keep me and armalika to keep this as a surprise to you guys as to what is involved within the video in terms of pack pulls do you want to know the best pack pull so that you click into it and can see what it is. I, I, I'm I'm a bit lost. I feel like this way is good across the board because it just keeps you guys guessing. And at least you should be excited for every video because most likely there'll be something good in it. Whether it's good gameplay, a player review, or good pack luck, right? But I'd, I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. So we've got 70 uh, plus gold packs. We'll probably do 10 or 20 of them within the epi here. Also, a cheeky little surprise. And this is why I love doing this. We got our next milestone, man, which is absolutely crazy. I, we're, we're just grinding through rivals right now in Division 3. It's like every game I'm playing is for half a million dollars against my opponents. It's so sweaty and so hard. But we finally did get our next uh, our, our, our next win in rivals. So we're at seven wins out of seven for the week. So that's done. Obviously, you guys um, will be seeing my playoff run in the edited episode and we'll open hopefully our playoff rewards if it goes well so that'll be the 8 a.m upload lots of content going on right now and it's 6 p.m and it's been 6 p.m for a couple minutes and i haven't even seen it but we've got a milestone 100k pack to open within the epi as well let's see if ea finally gave us some sort of grindable content soundtrack k k k that's kind of cool is that Swedish House Mafia? That's pretty sweet. Um, AJ Tracy, that's pretty cool too. All right, well, whatevs. I probably won't use them. I I only I exclusively use leads kits, really. Still need to remember to do this though, and we will at some point. So again, nothing in terms of gameplay. And I was I was saying this to the edited epi like later on the next epi coming up. I don't want to go over it too too much, but I I find that EA aren't doing great with content right now. In terms of gameplay and 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 stuff, and and maybe that's weird of me to say because there's so much to do in milestones. There are player objectives. I just feel like they're not taking great advantage of the one to watch promo itself in in the way that they could. I don't know if you guys agree or not, but I'm just feeling a. Unless you're willing to sweat out game after game after game, and again, I'm really enjoying sweating out gameplay right now. So I don't care that there isn't really that much quote unquote content because. For me, I'm just spamming gameplay. Playoffs, rivals, 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 rivals. Bit of draft, although draft makes me want to cut my nuts off. Champs, etc. So, I'm fine spamming gameplay. I've probably played more gameplay this last two weeks uh, than I ever have, really, in any FIFA. So, it just goes to show that I am truly enjoying gameplay right now with its few issues. So, in terms of SBC content, is there anything? Draft your squad. Oh, God. Speaking of draft... Exchange a squad for a draft token pack. So this is a 15k, 15,000 coin value. What's the actual cost of the squad? 84 rated! Are they okay? Just go buy a draft for 15k. Hey man, yeah, are you guys alright? Speaking of moronic brain dead content. <laughs> Hold on. Is this repeatable? Like, what do they do? Is it repeatable? 
I mean, I don't know on any level how this could be good. <laughs> this was terrible, by the way, as well. This is, what, okay, is that the content for the day? 70 chem and 84 rated, they have to be out of their mind. That is the dumbest content I've seen ever. So no player, new player SBCs, no new gameplay grindable content, and a 84 rated 70 chem squad requirement for a 15k value draft token. Insane. All right, well, we'll keep it positive. We'll keep it moving. Uh, my grind continues. Like I, I every every year we say this, right? While I'm enjoying FUT, I will do my best to give you guys content. If EA don't give us content on the days, that's fine. We'll still grind and uh, and try and earn a, a good amount of fun content for you. So let's open at least 10 of these. And uh, and then we'll finish off maybe with the milestone, the milestone pack. Who knows? Maybe we'll get a little bit of luck. First, 70 plus is a board. That's really annoying because honestly, I think that's a dupe. <laughs> I think that's a dupe. Oh, we can go do the draft, guys. Uh, what is this guy's value, anyways? They're fifteen hundred coins. That's so funny. So there, it's exactly the price of a regular draft, bro. Are you yeah, all right? <laughs> all right. I, I whatever. Considering he's like fifteen hundred coins, we'll just do one man left behind. It's four leagues as well. EA are out of their mind. I don't know, like, what in the... Who thought that was a good idea? It, whatever. You know what, man? To me, EA haven't taken a crazy amount of L's this year. I, I feel like they've done pretty well overall. Gameplay's got a couple of issues, but overall, it's a great improvement over the crap, spam, just idiotic fest of, of, of broken mechanics that FIFA 21 was. So gameplay is a big improvement. I actually find the servers better this year than last year in gameplay. There are games you get maybe... Last year, it was like... Seven to eight games out of ten were a pile of trash. Terrible servers, terrible gameplay, awful actual server delay, disastrous uh, experience. This year, I would say it's reversed. This year, it's probably seven to eight to even nine games out of ten where it's actually relatively clean gameplay. And maybe that one or two games out of ten where it's just terrible and you're like, okay, I just need to remember that this is not the... Um, this is not the rule. This is the exception to the rule in terms of terrible delayed. Now, I'm not talking about next-gen hypermotion delay, which is in the game, but once you learn, you can kind of try and overcome it for the most part. Uh, I'm talking about actual server delay, right? This is the best FIFA since 15. To me, this is the best FIFA since FIFA 18 pre-patch. I keep repeating myself, but to me, it's uh, that's what it is. Maybe it has 10 draft tokens in it. Maybe, I don't know. That'd be pretty cool. I doubt it, but that would be awesome. Then it would be, well, obviously, then it would be worth it. I mean, that's 150k value, right? For an 84 rated squad. Then absolutely it'd be worth it. Uh, do you think the holiday in Canada is delayed content? Maybe, but they should be. Like, it's a billion dollar game. There shouldn't be, the whole studio shouldn't just take time off. They, they've got big enough teams, or they should have big enough teams, where some guys get the day off, other guys come in and make sure the content is on point, and then the next week that team that came in gets the time off. Like it's very simple business. I, I, I don't, I don't see that as a valid excuse. It's actually twenty three k on Fotbin to do it. Insane, insane, insane. <clears throat> Boards again. We're, we are just restocking the club. <clears throat> That's all we're doing right now. That's fine. We do that have that 100k milestone pack as well. <clears throat> Dude. I can't wait to see what Armalika does with the title and the uh, the draft token, bro. I'm in shock. I'm just in shock that that's their content. I'm really excited to see what the thumbnail and title is. <laughs> so ridiculous, dude. Oh, man. Neb tweeted. Neb just tweeted EA saying, "Are you okay?" <laughs> oh, I'm so excited for Daddy Neb's reaction. It's gonna be great. All right, there's nothing there. Well, maybe an 82 and below. Oh no, I, Tamori would be sick. Can I get a Junior Fearpo? Can we get a Canadian R9? Those are the those are the three guys I desperately want, man. I feel like I'm gonna have more chance of packing an OTW Messi than a Canadian R9 or an OTW Junior Fearpo. It's down to 18k now. Oh, man. 
Alright. We'll open down to 20, and then we'll do our 100k milestone. Okay, boards again. Nice! I'm... Interestingly, I'm really interested in trying this Indeedee. I am. With how lights out good Fabi is on a shadow in uh, in the DM role, with how awesome Tonali was, or Locatelli or whatever was on a shadow in that role, with how good my opponent's Casimeros have been in that DM role, I, I wonder if this um, Indeedee, this Wilf, this guy watches our stream, boys! Gifted subs and all, what a ledge. Hopefully we can play the new Warzone with him. I know I keep saying this, but I actually do need to try and make that happen. I think that'd be fun content for sure. I think he plays Warzone more than FUT. So, see if we can uh, we can get him to play some uh, Warzone games with us. I think that'd be hilarious. SBC gives two tokens. Does it actually, or are you guys BSing? Boards again? Oh no, another dupe. F. I mean, if it gives two tokens, that's not terrible. Um... You know what? Man left behind. Still not worth it? Well, I mean, a 15k value for two tokens is actually, it, it kind of is. But why do I feel like my user base is just lying to me, dude? Why don't you put it into TT? Put what into TT? Oh, nice. Hi. It's only one token? I'm not doing TT, that's why. And, and all I have left is Benzema's 87 rated squad. So I'm waiting till we get a, an 85 dupe to throw into the Benzema. All right, two more, boys. Two more and we'll finish off this amazing 6 p.m. content of uh, a draft token for a fantastic price from EA. Is that Tiago's brother? Oh, it is. Yeah, cool. I forgot he was at PSG. That's crazy that they're brothers, huh? Uh, okay. Final 78 plus all day... We'll be opening on the edited epi even more 70 pluses. So don't worry, we're, we're opening tons and my God, do they pay off. These 10 or 15 or 20, what did we open here? About 15, right? Didn't pay off today, but that's okay. That's the way it is. So let's finish off the epi with a uh, the 100K pack that we earned, not tradable, from Milestones. Come on. God bless. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that amazing content from EA. Enjoy your draft. Enjoy getting knocked out. Who's that? Chiro. Okay, nice. Hey. Fodder towards Benzema. Very nice. A little surprise uh, milestone 100k pack. We'll take a Chiro. Maybe there's a Dangler. Junior Firpo would be beautiful. A Canadian R9 would also be beautiful as well. So whatever you want to give me in this Dangler will be fantastic. Okay? Please. Hero incoming? No, there's no way. Wouldn't the hero be ahead? No, I guess because it goes by rating, right? Come on, boys. Come on. Dangler. Please. Big Dangler. No, we got an 84. That's, oh my God. That's actually a terrible pack, isn't it? Oh my goodness. I mean, I did get a Leeds Spanish player and I and 79 rated, just the wrong one. You know what's crazy? I'm actually happy about that. I know that's me overselling it, but I this is the first time this year I've packed this Nuno kid and I need him for our league and squad, which is hilarious. These two will put into some sort of SBC. I, I haven't decided which one um just yet but anyways we'll catch you videos on the flip side peace